Hey everybody. Today I was wanting to show you a little idea a friend of mine had and I made it. I put it together after reading several articles on the internet a few years ago. This is just a basic military ammo cam. I did uh, take and clean the, the outside of the can with denatured alcohol. Got all the lettering off of it. You know, it told what it was. What this is, is a grill. It's one you can carry, you can keep it in the, in the bed of your truck, the trunk of your car. It's self-contained. You can carry your, your charcoal inside it. It stays in it all the time in the bottom if you can see it. I hope you can see that in there. Now this grate was actually an idea of mine and a friend of mine was able to make it for me. It's just expanded metal with a square tubing. And he welded square tubing along the inside to make a shelf for this to sit on. The article I had read on it on the internet, the guy drilled holes along the side on both sides. And he actually used the uh, tent pegs, the aluminum, the round tent pegs. And when he needed his grate, he just slid those across there and took them out when he was done. What I'm gonna do today is try to prepare a small meal with a one person mess kit. Um, I did need to mention that I, I painted that with grill paint if I hasn't already mentioned that. Yeah, let me make my, arrange my charcoals in a little pile. But I'm just using the, the quick light stuff. See if I can show you show you with it working. With this grate on it. We've actually grilled an entire pack of hot dogs. Just lay them along the top. Today, though, I'm not going to be using the, the grate to cook on. I'm going to use a cook pot and cup. We're going to, going to scramble some eggs and make some hot chocolate. We've been having cold mornings out here. I thought the hot chocolate might be good, but it's warmed up now. Just lay it directly on top of the, the grate. I'm going to actually use the lid to the can. So that water will boil quicker. Got an egg. Gonna put the can on here. I'm not gonna wait for the charcoals to die down because I don't know how long they'll last. That's not, I didn't have the full amount that I normally use in there. That's so what we're gonna do. These light my fire combos, um, they're awesome. I really love them. There's one drawback though. If it's going to be extended use and you're going to cook with it instead of just eat, they melt down. Um, I actually ordered one from countycom.com that's titanium. Um, I doubt that thing will melt with anything I can do with it. Um, you can also get them from Gander Mountain. But like I said, this one is great. There's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that if you do a lot of cooking with it, it's going to melt. Okay, let's see here. Should be warm enough. I hope you're able to see that. The 
so I won't bore you with the cook time. I'm gonna stop the video here and pick it up when the eggs get done and then we'll, we'll finish making our hot chocolate. Okay, got the eggs just about done. It's smelling really good. I hope that wind's not been a problem on the, on the camera there. It's, it's blowing pretty good out here. You can see it was plenty hot enough to scramble the eggs. Um, you could have fried it also. I think uh, I think this little pot here is deep enough to do a pretty good omelet too if you had some, some onions and cheese and things like that. I'm going to set this aside. Okay. Now we're going to get our water ready. We're going to make some hot chocolate. This is just a regular packet like you make hot chocolate with at home. Just boil six ounces of water. You don't really have to bring it to a bowl, just get it hot enough to drink because it mixes almost instantly. I'm going to use my CRKT M16. bought this knife several years ago and uh, it's been a great knife. I've carried it with me. It's, it's probably the only knife I carry the most. I guess it's my EDC knife. We're going to give this water a chance to start to a boil, then we'll mix it up. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. It's starting to get a little boil to it, but it'll be hot enough to drink. I'm going to mix everything here while it's still warm. Take my lid off. Pour a little pouch of hot chocolate. It's really a good drink to drink before you go to bed too when you're out camping, hiking. Uh, the sugars and the sweetness and the warm liquid will warm you up. cup of hot chocolate. This was also a test run for me. Um, I painted the uh, painted the grill, of course, with the grill paint. It's, it said it was good to about 800 degrees, which I'm sure with this setup, it didn't get anywhere near that. As you can see, there's no discoloration um, front or back. I can't pick it up to show you, of course, but um, overall, I'm pleased with it. Um, one thing I would suggest is if you get an expanded metal grate made, depending on the metal you use, burn it off on a fire, a really hot fire, for several hours. That'll get any oils and any con contaminants that are in the oil and in the metal off. Once you do that, it's gonna rust really quickly unless you, the best word I can use for it is season it, like you would a Dutch oven or any kind of iron skillet, cast iron. Um, just rub oil on it, really, thick you can actually dip it down into a cooking oil let everything drip off the excess bake it in your oven for like four hours on 350 degrees that'll actually impregnate it with the oil and keep it from rusting um, once you do that you don't want to scrub it down with soapy water unless you just have to and if you do have to do that you want to reseason it with more oil but that'll keep it from rusting getting the surface rust in your food and stuff I want to share this little idea with you I hope some of you get some use out of it Hope you enjoyed watching the video, and everybody stay safe.